Hey guys, welcome to Food Stuck Kenya, powered by Active Life for an active life. I'm your host and your dost, S A K. Dost means friend, by the way. Hey, so today's episode, we are showcasing to you one of the most cheapest breakfast brunch you can ever have in Nairobi, Kenya. Yes, but this is focused more on the Mombasa coastal Swahili food. As you see, all that food on your screen right now all that you can eat as much as you want for as little as 600 shillings yep they give you coffee as well they are juices tea served with drinks of course and all this glorious food i mean what delicacies all the coastal delicacies are here you know from the mkati senior to the Vyazi Karai, uh, to the Kasava, to the Muhogo, to the Mahamri, to the Barazi. Uh, I mean, there's so much and each bite was very, very tasty. It's freshly made and the place is called Biragil. Yes, if you're wondering where Biragil is, Biragil is in Pangani at the most famous Pangani shopping center. You cannot miss it. It's, it's an awesome place. The staff is very friendly and the food is really good. And above all, it's absolutely worth it. Awesome guys. Ooh. Hey, good morning guys. As you know from the video's intro that we've just uh, had an awesome buffet breakfast. We're in a cool place, it's called Binagil. It's in Pangani. And you know what, this breakfast is awesome because it's Swahili and it's only for 600 bob. Eat as much as you want. By the way, all the COVID protocols were observed and, you know, they do have somebody uh, to serve you the food and everything. But because of shooting purposes, I decided to sanitize myself and serve myself. And there you go. As you can see, that's the Mandazi. Wow, it's nice, fluffy, big. And here comes the Bajias, you know. Oh, nice. The samosas as well, you know, they had the uh, mutton samosas, that's really, really uh, good and nice. And uh, that's the uh, Vyazi Karai, you know, the coastal style that you get with chili in the center. And my favorites, you know, the Mombasa kebabs, these are like, they're known as the black kebabs and the normal kebabs as well. Absolutely delicious. Oh, that's a delicacy, what you're seeing. It's called Mkatewa Sinia. Actually, that's the Kaimati. And that's the Mkatewa Sinia. You know, this is a, a coastal delicacy, which you don't get available. It's not readily available all over. So you gotta, you know, order it uh, specifically. And uh, these are uh, the uh, Vyazi as well. This, I think, is a Vyazi. Uh, it's, uh, they're, they're like tangy and lots of sauce in it or something. There's a word for it I cannot recall. Of course, the cassava is there as well. And the most popular, Muhogo. This is the coconut Muhogo. Oh, who doesn't love this, you know? It gives it a proper coastal flavor to it. I miss the matoke because uh, I'm not a big fan of matoke, so I avoided them. But here comes the uh, barzi as well, or barazi, whatever you feel comfortable, you know. Uh, you gotta eat that with your mandazi and they do have some beans as well which i skipped and a couple of other stuff they also give you uh the cereal you know if you're a fan of cereals they also have cereals on their uh buffet table i mean really how cool is this So 
Bina Gil, by the way, is in Pangani at the food court, you know, and it's very reasonable. They do have a lot of other special delicacies, you know, like the mandis, the biryanis, the pilaus. We'll showcase those in probably a different episode, but on this one, we're just showing you how cool their breakfast is and how fresh uh, the breakfast is. And, you know, it's it's on every day. And uh, for 600 bob, I mean, wow, wouldn't you want to treat your taste buds? Because I had a blast. The taste was really, really good, as you can see, you know. I'm just enjoying it and I didn't want to talk much and I said you know what I'm just gonna enjoy this you know this kebab by the way was my favorite one of my favorite absolutely soft uh, rich you know lots of uh, minced meat in it I guess this place is a hidden gem, you know, it's uh, one of those places which not many people know about it unless you're in the area or something, but if you're a fan of Swahili uh, food, coastal food, good food, you know, just go there probably on a weekend or something and enjoy yourself. You know, I'm definitely going back to have some more of these because it, it was very, very delicious and, you know, it's very pocket friendly. And uh, that's it for this episode, guys. You keep watching. Thanks for your support. Like, share, and of course, subscribe to the channel. You know, it means a lot to us. And once again, it's Food Stop Hard by Active Life for an Active Life. I'll be getting out of here and I'll leave you with a, a quick break of the Active Life Daily Flora. You know, it's a probiotic. So if you're having some digestive issues, uh, Active Life has got you covered with a new product called Daily Flora. Do check it out. As for now, Asante Sana, Shukran. And did I tell you, by the way, this place is halal? Yes, a lot of questions coming about halal at places so yes this place is a hundred percent halal go and enjoy do you know there are good bacteria in our gut but various factors like stress antibiotic use, unhealthy food, and pollution may destroy the good bacteria called probiotics in our stomach, leading to frequent stomach upset, acidity, bloating and abdominal discom. Introducing Actolife Daily Flora. Advanced probiotic formula with 30 billion CFU. Probiotics plus prebiotic. Actolife Daily Flora strengthens the immune system, improves digestion, relieves gastric upset, bloating and flatulence. Actolife Daily Flora is the only brand with 30 billion CFU probiotic with 7 billion CFU Saccharomyces boulardii. Actolife Daily Flora. Actolife Body and Spirit.